My name is Annalise and very excited to be here with you today. And of course I wanted to properly introduce uh, our speaker, dear Mr. Jean-François, aka Jeff Van der Poel, e-learning expert and active Moodle and WooClap user, of course. So let's dive in to quizzes and cognitive exercises because it really helps students to advance in their learning. So basically, quizzing students and letting them do those cognitive exercises, it will really enhance their memory and retention, we know that, and it will go ahead and encourage uh, their active participation as well and it will go ahead and reinforce the learning objective. So it does provide that feedback. So we need to know, of course, uh, what their level of understanding is. So Jeff, please take it away because I think you want to have a quiz right here with the audience. Yeah, thank you, Annie. So Je Jeff, I've um, been working as an instructional designer for about 30 years now. So it's a great job. It's joyful when you get to work with innovative teacher but it's frustrating as well, as you might all know, because we have a lot of teachers who still use basic features in technology, just PDF or Moodle. So it's important for us to find tools that will not take them too many times and still will provide students with kind of effective exercise. So what I propose to you simply now is to take a quick quiz. So please scan the QR code which is available. I made a simple quiz about Moodle. I wanted to find a subject that everybody knows about. So uh, it's a competitive mode. So you might be asked to give a, a name. Just give whatever name you want. And once you guys are ready, I will switch my screen and we'll see the quiz and I will be able to share the question. So I'm going to wait for you. I see 55 people connected and and while you're connecting, yeah, I've been using MOOCLAB for interaction as a teacher and together with teachers for years, and it's quite a great tool to interact with even huge amphitheater. So I get 81, 82, I think I will start soon. Okay, I got 85. So the first question I will ask you is actually, uh, you know, which tools allow students to collect, share, and search creative, created artifacts? Yeah, I wait to get about 60, 70 answers, so I guess it's quite an easy one. Okay, and we know that the answer, oh, okay, database, wiki, okay, we'll see which one is a good one. The second question, which tool is used to create a series of pages with chapter and subchapter? the result we have so far. Books it is, yeah, quite obvious. Which tool allows students to collaborate and create content together? Okay, let's see the result. Yeah, wikis obviously. The next question, what is the purpose of the rubric in an assignment activity? You have many options. Okay, so, yeah, answers are quite in the right direction. I'll just jump to the next question. What does the asterisk indicate in the grader report?
uh, quite divided here. Okay, we have two more questions to go. Uh, what are the main features of the gradebook enhancement in Moodle 4.2? So. Wait until I reach 7, 70 answers so I can show you some results, people input it. Okay, so well, quite divided as well. We'll see the result later. How many columns can be collapsed in the grader report? <laughs> because you look dubious, so. <laughs> Okay, so uh, now I can also see so far that Ben App is the one who's leading the race, Monkey Boy is second and CB third. So we have three more questions uh, now to uh, finish and to see what's next for you guys. So it was mostly about AI. The first question is what is generative AI? Can you please find a better definition? Okay, and I will stop now because we still have just a little bit time. So Ben App is the winner, CB second, Monkey Boy the third. So what I wanted to prove with that is that I created this quiz in three minutes. So I wanted to find a subject that allows me to find easiest way for, uh, for me to work and propose question. And so basically what I did Sorry, oh, is I use WooClap, as you know, but now they have a new feature on beta, which is just allowing you to use AI to produce quizzes. So I can choose a topic, I can upload a document, I can paste text, a link, or audio video. So for these quizzes, I just went on Moodle documentation on different section, and I just pasted the link and asked him to produce MCQ question, check them up, and put them online. So just a way, if we want teacher to put that kind of pedagogical activity to the student, knowing they don't have much time, paper book, PowerPoint presentation, any content material they have in putting in the system will allow them to create hundreds of questions quite easily. And maybe now I'll give the microphone back to Anlis for the... Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you for this. So basically, by introducing AI in WooClap, you're able to facilitate your content creation. So a student engagement tool with AI in it, and it plugs into your WooClap as an assignment, an activity to your course. So basically, I would love to see you, if you have some time, at our booth, or just scan this QR code, and I'd be happy to talk to you as well. Thank you so much. We have time for one question. Anyone? Yeah, thank you for that. That was a really interesting um, example, but I think it was also interesting because there were quite a few questions it took out of that. Well, actually, there were more than one um, correct answer, but it probably didn't identify that. Uh, yes, like which activity is best for this and, and things like that. And you saw that with some of the breakdown of Moodle experts all going for different things. Uh, so I think it also shows perhaps a limitation in the way that AI generates questions that perhaps it doesn't always have the context that is necessary to write precise questions. Yeah, thank you for the question. So what I didn't have time to show is that basically the question produced are editable. 
So once you propose me questions, I can add that this answer is good. I can change proposal as well. So once he's producing question, he's not just fixed on the concrete. You can just add, remove answers, and you can just customize it. Of course, like a colleague from H5P mentioned, what is produced has to be, of course, checked. So what you mentioned is right, but when I edit the question, I can add the fact that it can be considered as a good answer, or I can just simply change the proposal.